Hi, I'm Imogen Lamport from the Academy of Professional Image and Inside Out Style and also 16 Style Life. I've got a few feathers in my cap. Now, if you don't know me at all, uh, then you might, you know, you have to discover me in those places. But many of you do know a bit about me. And I just thought I've got these little cards from Kiki K, which is a little, um, it's, a, it's a kind of stationery sort of store recently and they're called their empowerment cards and I thought you know what I'm going to do because sometimes I'm going well what shall I talk about on a live video and I thought you know what I'm going to do I'm going to take one of these and make a live video out of how it speaks to me and maybe you'll get something out of it as well this one is have a dream take a chance make the change and you know I thought it's some of those questions I get asked a lot is about how did I become an image consultant how did I get to where I am today because the reality is, is I too was once someone who knew nothing about all of this. Um, and I've spent the last 15 plus years uh, honing my skills and my knowledge. But for me, it started with a dream. In fact, that dream started well before I ever even knew that image consulting existed. It started back in the 1990s. So I'm aging myself here. I used to work as a publicist for Penguin Books Australia and I would take authors on tours. And I did a lot of packing um, and, and, and being on and off planes. So I was always packing my you know, clothes and everything. And I really learned, I really honed the art of how to pack light during that I could get on board with like a tiny little tote bag you know going away for a couple of days whilst my author was carrying some massive suitcase and we're thinking and, and you know people going but you look like you're wearing something different every day and I wasn't I just knew how to make enough tweaks to my outfit uh, that it made a difference and I suppose that was one of the first kind of aspects of getting into the whole image game the other thing was at that time and I've always made my own clothes since I was in my teenage years. I don't say much anymore, I do every now and again, but I made my own clothes. I was interested in clothing construction and I spent ages making something. If it then looked terrible, it killed me. You know, all those hours of making something and then looking bad and how terrible is that? So um, I wanted to know the why. I wanted to know why something didn't work. Why wasn't it any good for me? Why was I better? Um, in some shapes and other shapes of clothing. I wanted to understand figure flattery. So that kind of sent me on a little journey. And I started, whenever I came across an image book, I would buy it. And they were pretty rare in those days. Uh, so I was always fascinated by the whole aspect of image. I have the sort of brain that wants to know why. When I understand the why of something, I can replicate it. I can, I can you know, do something with that information. And so for me, I actually had started kind of writing a little book for myself in many ways about, you know, figure flattery. So what worked and what didn't work. And it was, of course, based totally on me because that's all I really knew about at that time. But I was writing my own set of style and figure flattery rules. Um, and so I think I had that dream. I had that passion for image. And I always enjoyed shopping. Um, it was something I quite enjoyed. I love the aesthetics of clothing and style. I love, you know, the imagination of haute couture as well. You know, the really out there stuff. It's not necessarily meant to be worn, but it is, it's, it's art in many ways. And so one of the other things I'd always known, I did a degree in public relations when I was young. I did this degree and I had, you know, I didn't quite know what I was going to do with it. Um, and, but I'd always kind of thought at the back of my mind, I'd really like to become some sort of self-employed person. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I ended up doing um, publicity, as I mentioned before, for Penguin Books. And as much as I enjoyed that, I, I didn't want to just do that for the rest of my life. I was really quite burnt out by the time I left there. It was, it was too draining on my energy. Um, and so I remember thinking, you know, I would love to have my own business, but I don't just want to have a PR business. To me, I was not interested in doing that. And so I didn't know what to do. And it wasn't until I discovered Image. And I remember watching Trini and Susanna on television and wondering, you know, oh, I'd really like to do that sort of thing, but how can I do it without the humiliation? I was not into the butt grabbing, the tip squeezing as they would do, and the kind of the making people feel bad about their bodies, using language that was very negative. Instead, I wanted to empower people. I wanted people to feel more confident. I wanted people to feel good. I wanted people to um, 
to feel really good and stylish in themselves, to feel like they're attractive in themselves. Um, there's a lot of research that shows that, you know, looking attractive helps open many doors. And I wanted to help people do that. And so I then discovered that there was this thing called image consulting and that you could get training in it. And so as a young uh, mother of a young child, my son was about 10 months old or something when I, I did my training, I, I realised that this was what I wanted to do. This is what I went where I wanted to go. Um, but this was what I'd been looking for all my life. I just didn't really know it existed. Uh, so I did my training and set up my business and I just haven't looked back. I, I realised over the years that this is where my passion lies. And of course, I go in different directions. I start new things. You know, the, the 16 style types, it's the latest kind of new venture of the relationship between psychological type, or often people think of it as Myers-Briggs or MBTI type and style has been really fascinating learning more about that and understanding that. Um, and, you know, of course, I set up my own training business back in 2006. So it's been a long time that I've been doing the training as well. And I just love sharing my passion. For me, my dream was to build some sort of image business that could sustain me, that could be my work. I realised in 2009 when I was uh, going through a separation and divorce that I could never go back and work for anybody else again, that I just liked being self-employed, that I was my own best and worst boss because I'm pretty hard taskmaster for myself. But I really loved, um, you know, kind of helping others and that I loved being able to set my own, my own hours. I loved having the freedom and the flexibility. If I needed to go to school, you know, um, assembly to watch one of my children get an award, then most of the time I could do that provided I didn't have a client booked at that exact time. So I, I could take a holiday when I needed to. I could work around my kids' school holidays. There's all sorts of things having your own business allows you to do. Now, of course, you work really hard. Um, I work at least 40 hours a week um, in my business. It's not like I'm working less hours, but I'm in control of my destiny. And I think that's the thing that I love so much. And that's where my dream of starting my own business um, was, it has been so satisfying. I took a chance on myself. That's the other thing too, is you have to back yourself. If you're going to start your own business, you've got to really back yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to think, well, I can do this. And you know, there's a lot of smart women out there that you too can do this. I'm not the only one who can do this. I started off like many other people with no skills, no education and not a lot of money or anything. This is not a business you need a whole lot of money to start with. Um, it's not like buying into a business. This is something that has a low startup cost and is something that you can work away at part time whilst you're working in another job if that's necessary and build it up over time as well. This is where you know you can take a chance um, and push forwards. So it's making the change in your own life. It's deciding that you're going to make a decision, that you're going to do something new, that you're going to have that dream and turn that dream into a reality because dreams are great. But if you don't do anything with them, they just stay as dreams. And I think this is the most exciting thing to be able to do is actually take your dream and turn it into something solid, a reality, something that, you know, fills your heart, makes you feel great. And, and what I love about Image so much is I get to spend time helping other people feel great and feel more confident and feel good in themselves as well as help them save a bunch of money as they're no longer buying the wrong clothes, help them create an image that's an expression of who they are on the inside, on the outside, and, and, and just have a life that is better in many ways. There's so many flow on effects I've discovered that people have gained from improving their self image. And from the people I've trained, like, you know, they're so excited too. They're turning their passion into a reality. So if that is something you're interested in, is turning your passion of personal styling, image consulting, colour consulting, um, the thought of possibly doing it into a reality, I do offer training programs. I've got online programs um, you can do from anywhere in the world. And of course, there's classroom programs, the next classroom program you can find with the training dates on my website, which is aopi.com.au. Um, I would love to have you in my training courses. If you're ever interested, if you want to know more, please do contact me. 
Um, but it is something that, you know, for me, it's changed my life in such a positive way. It's opened so many doors. You know, I get to travel. I've just been to Thailand to train a bunch of really passionate Thai women in colour and style. It's so much fun. I get to go around the world um, and meet other people who have the same passion as me, which is also really gratifying. Uh, this is something that, you know, you can turn it into anything you want to. You can take it in whatever direction you want to. And that's what I love about it. There's many options. There's not just one pathway um, in the personal styling image consulting world. There are many pathways and you can do it how you want to do it in a way that's authentic and good for you. So do contact me if you've got any questions about training um, and follow my blog insideoutstyleblog.com if you want to learn some tips and tricks of how to improve your personal style.